Is that the answer there? Says Earth. Hmm, swallows death, brings forth life. Go. Yeah. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself, or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. The god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. So there are good gods. Once in a moon it's been known to happen, yes. This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for the Aesir. Same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. Do you think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing donut. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together. Where is this battle? Don't know. I've never been in here. 